Measuring yeast cell concentration and viability from a corn mash sample using salometer vision. The imaging mode is bright field plus dual fluorescence. The front end of a pipette tip is cut off to better handle highly viscous corn mash samples. Corn mash is first mixed with a dilution buffer. Vortexing provides further mixing. Nucleus staining dyes are added to the corn mash sample. After incubation at room temperature for one to two minutes, 20 microliters of stained corn mash sample is loaded into a salometer counting chamber, which is inserted into the salometer vision instrument. The salometer vision is configured with a blue excitation channel and a green excitation channel. Live nucleated cells emit green fluorescence when excited by blue light. Dead cells produce red fluorescence when excited by green light. When the chamber is inside salometer vision, a bright field image of the corn mash sample is shown. Click count to automatically start cell counting. Salometer vision takes cell images in bright field and in fluorescence. Cell images are automatically analyzed based on preset parameters. Live and dead cell concentrations and viability are automatically reported. Counting data is saved in a table for multiple samples. Export to Excel saves the information of each cell counted. Cell images are saved as a record for each sample. They can also be used to reanalyze your data. Counted cells are outlined green for live cells and red for dead cells. The all plastic counting chamber is easily disposable after use. Salometer vision is also used for many other applications, ranging from UV to visible to IR. The optical module can be switched by the user within a few minutes. Explore our website for more information on salometer applications, cell counting essentials, and product information. Contact Nexalom today to discuss your cell counting needs.